Okay guys, welcome to my little demo here. Today I'm going to show off what I implemented over the last uh, two to three months. Um, basic setup, we got a small computer that's sitting underneath my seat. Can't really show you right now because it's kind of dark in here. Um, what we got running here is just a Windows operating system. Um, obviously, obviously customized. Um, and the software called the Ride Runner. Hooked up to that is a little uh, microprocessor bar that uh, has some digital outputs as well as some analog inputs. And uh, what they do is, uh, I can actually hook up relays to that, and with these relays, I actually tap them to the to the system, uh, into the electrical system of the car. So um, what I was able to do is pull the screen together here, and uh, basically hook up the most uh, important functions of the car. Well, to me, at least the most important functions of the car, such as uh, lights, windows, locks, key. Uh, battery, because I have a second battery in the back, so that basically breaks the connection. Um, TVs, screens, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but the most outstanding feature, I think, is actually that uh, I was able to get the uh, ignition to work, so I can actually start the car. Um, but that's not everything. The cool thing is, since this is a computer, and it has Wi-Fi, I can just uh, take my iPhone here, which is right here, and it's a little dark, and I take this out, and uh, let's unlock this and uh, let's start a program called Java VNC, which is uh, nothing else but a VNC cl uh, VNC client viewer for the iPhone. Um, so let me connect to my car real quick. So right, so right here, here we go. So basically, what this does, it shows a uh, shows the screen that I see in the car. And uh, I tested it out. It works about uh, I'd say a good 50, 50 meters, but a uh, if so I put a better Wi-Fi connection in here, like better antenna, then I'd probably get more out of that, but really that's overkill, I think. So uh, what I can do right now, is let's say I want to turn on the ignition, I have to click the ignition button right here, you see it, that's right here, and right here. So, just clicked it, um, and the ignition turned on. So let's demonstrate that again. Click, ignition's off, click, ignition's on. Um, obviously, um, we're gonna need some lights as well, so we're gonna here put a mouse cursor of lights, and et voila, the lights turn on. Off, on, off, on, and so on. Um, now the next thing I want to do is go over to the Mercedes emblem symbol here and click that, and what that will do is start the car. And here we go, everything starts up fine. So you can obviously do this remotely, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, that was a cool project. Uh, if any of you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, some more things. Yeah, of course you're gonna have uh, your standard features, such as you can like let's say we want to put the windows down here. You click that, and uh, put like a two-second window down here. So, or if you want to put like let's say just that window up, we click that button. And that window goes up. Pretty convenient if you're outside the car. Um, and that's pretty much the demo for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and uh, let me know what you think of it.